Hey, welcome back. Tonight we're going to be modeling in metric instead of inches, so we'll change the standard that we're working in. We're also going to use a fillet command in this general area right here instead of a complicated sketch. Um, so let's get started and let's make sure that we uh, convert our program from inches to metric millimeters. So with a new part, OK. My default's to uh, inches as it is. So I'm going to come down here in the bottom right hand corner, notice where it says inch pounds a second. We want to click on the chevron that's pointing up and where it says millimeters, grams, and second, we want to change it to that. So now we've changed our standards. So we want to start out with an extrusion on our top plane. So we want to come up, grab a center rectangle. Just draw it somewhere around there. Uh, this part was 50 millimeters long and 40 millimeters wide. Um, I can't remember, it's 20 millimeters tall. So we have 50 on the length, 40 on the uh, width, and 40 on the height overall, and 20 on our first level. So we want to exit our sketch. We want this to be 20 millimeters tall, and we're going to accept that. Now the next thing we want to do is create an extrusion up on this top surface. So I'm going to select extruded ball space. It's going to ask us where we would like to do it. Top surface. I'm going to use the control A shortcut command just so you can see it looking normal to it. Yours may orient normal to you as it is. So I'm going to use a simple corner rectangle. So I'll start in this top uh, left corner. I'm going to drag it down to the bottom uh, edge and make sure that it snaps coincident. And I want to give this a smart dimension of 20 millimeters. Now, a lot of times people will want to put this uh, radius in here in the sketch, but there's really not a need in it for the way that we're going to go about doing this. So I'm going to exit my sketch. Um, we know that it's also going to be 20 millimeters tall because our overall height is 40 and we've already got 20. So we accept that. Now, instead of that complicated sketch, we're just going to use a fillet command. Um, instead of being 10, we know that it's a 20 millimeter radius. So I pick that edge, it gives me the preview, and now I'm in there and I didn't have to create a complicated sketch. So control seven as an isometric view, so we're all on the same page. Uh, next thing that we would like to do is add this material back here. It looks like it's 20 millimeters thick. It meets up on this top vertex and it meets this corner here as well. So we're just gonna draw a simple triangle, but I wanna draw it on this back edge. So on this back edge, so control seven, we wanna create and extruded ball space and it's asking where. So I'm going to roll my model around and I'm going to pick this back surface and then I'm going to select control eight. Now it kind of kicked around backwards too. You know, if you don't, if you want to look at it like from the front view or something, just to keep yourself from getting mixed up, we can select the control eight command again. So it rotates it around for us. So now we see this kind of little bumpy edge. This is where that fillet is. So come up and grab a regular line. I'm going to start up here at the top left vertex, one mouse click, pull it down to this edge, second mouse click, out to this far right vertex, third, and fourth, we'll close our triangle off, hit the escape key a couple times, and I'm going to rotate it around, we are fully defined, we didn't have any dimensions on here because everything else is tied up to our model relations. So I want to exit my sketch. Now my extrusion is headed the wrong direction. That's a simple fix. I can either click on the arrow or I can come over here and click on the direction. So I'm going to reverse the direction. 20 millimeters is what it was supposed to be. So I want to fully accept this. Control 7 to put it back in an isometric view. And that is our model. So make sure that you save that in the proper naming convention and submit it in our LMS.